Okay, uh, my name is Michelle McElroy, and um, I've been painting um, since I was in high school. Took some time off uh, to work in the full-time professional world, which I still do, but I got back into painting about uh, seven or eight years ago, um, and I, I uh, paint what I see. So um, what I like to do is work with um, oils and acrylics, and uh, I like, um, I'm very much impressed by light and shadow. Um, so a lot of my work ha has been influenced by Edward Hopper. Um, also Horace Pippin, um, which you might not be able to tell, but uh, I love uh, Horace Pippin and, and his sincerity in his work. And so it's kind of a mixture of, of taking something from an everyday scene um, like he would and then kind of uh, being influenced by Edward Hopper by using light and shadow. So. Um, just taking ordinary scenes and making them art, that's what I do. Um, this is a piece that, um, I don't know if the name of it. I'm going to try to, uh, we can edit this part out, yeah. obviously, yeah. yeah. Uh, right. This piece um, is from a development in Plymouth, New Hampshire. Um, we were driving by one day and... Uh, look just like this. <laughs> I had to paint it. That's the story behind that. Um, I was doing a series of uh, restaurants. Um, this one, this is a Papa Gino's, in case that's not obvious. Um, this, uh, again, the I was waiting for a pizza <laughs> to pick up and no one was in the restaurant. Light and shadow kind of speaks for itself that had to be painted. Um, another kind of mini-series uh, that I had started was on gas stations and convenience stores. Um, both of these happen to be in Massachusetts, uh, again, walking by. Um, what I do is take photos and then paint later, because it's usually hard to set up a canvas, uh, an easel, on the street here. Um, just some small paintings, um, again, of New Hampshire. These are up north a little bit, up in uh, Campton and Sugar Hill. Um, the top one was just a really, I like the dramatic uh, use of uh, light and shadow that was actually just there. Um, just transferred it to canvas. Um, these little cows, you have seen I do a lot of running um, and it's always nice to stop and take a picture when you run when you see cows. This is a piece uh, I saw on my ride home working late one night. <laughs> I had to pull over, take a picture. Um, this is up in <clears throat> Ashland, New Hampshire. Um, Bob Sherfine just caught a really nice moment, um, this woman closing up, and um, felt I had to capture that. Uh, so I did. Um, again, I do a lot of running, um, usually early in the morning because um, I do work, so uh, this was a 4 a.m. run <laughs> in the fall, um, but it was really nice to get uh, get a shot right before a car was approaching and lit up the leaves really nicely. Uh, these two, um, again, just running around, um, taking pictures and finding things to paint later. Um, the lower piece is actually of Newfound Lake. I took this um, during the Newfound Lake Marathon. Had to stop and take a picture while I was running it. <laughs> and uh, there you go. This piece here is actually of um, the fishing derby on Lake Winnipesaukee. Um, it's just really great. So that's one of my favorite uh, events during the year, uh, just to see all the different bob houses right on the lake. It's really nice. And this is uh, Route 3, Plymouth. Um, really cool morning, truck in front of me, I was out to get a cup of coffee and uh, my husband took this picture so I could paint it. <laughs> and this is a nice dock scene over on Winnipesaukee, walking by, looks good. Uh, again from an early morning run, it's about five in the morning, uh, I always love that when there's just a house with one light on. I always wonder what's going on in there, drinking their coffee or what, but um, 
it's kind of a special moment for me and probably for them to have some quiet in the morning. So just try to capture that. Um, this was actually um, based on an unsolved mystery of um, someone waiting for a phone call from someone who, who never made the call. And I just tried to kind of capture that waiting, uh, <laughs> just waiting for a call that, uh, that never came. So um, again, using uh, light and shadow to try to capture the mood there. Um, this is 93 North, uh, again early morning, headed up uh, to Polly's Pancakes uh, just to get, get some first seating there and uh, it was kind of nice to get up there early uh, and you also get a nice sunrise sometimes too, so uh, really cool. The clouds were just like that, just kind of looming over the road, it was really cool. This is um, one of the smaller motels up on uh, Route 3 in Holderness. It was like, I don't know what time it was, but uh, just, you know, the sun was just barely lighting the sky and it was just a, a nice moment to capture there. Um, you might recognize this as Five Finger Point um, up in Holderness, Rattlesnake Mountain. Uh, this was a sunset, I believe. And this was from a um, nighttime walk in Ashland, New Hampshire. Um, they have a nice little gazebo, a nice park, and a really nice little lamp there that lights up the trees nicely. So made that a painting. Uh, Franconia, Franconia gas and um, speaks for itself. <laughs> nice lighting at night, pretty cool. This is, um, I grew up in Massachusetts near Framingham, Mass, and there is a uh, really, back when shopping could be magical, <laughs> there was a place called Shopper's World and it had the only Jordan Marsh with a dome store. Um, it was always kind of a special place and um, just really cool to to try to capture. Uh, I'm big on nostalgia <laughs> and this is always uh, one of the more commented on paintings but it's always nice to share that. People have a lot of great memories of Jordan Marsh and it's nice to hear that feedback. And this is the white, this is the white oak motel um, that's no longer. So um, I took a picture of this a couple of years ago, right before it closed. Didn't know it was going to close, but I'm um, glad I got to document it and, uh, and get that in. And last, this is um, on the docks over in Meredith on Wipasaki. Um I got coffee one morning and was taking a walk and uh, saw this really nice scene. And um,